Hey guys, welcome back to Richie's Truck and Auto. Uh, we ran into an incident the other day following a CV3 conversion on this 16 LML Duramax um, that we have never really ran across in the past, but uh, after doing dozens of these, we thought this would be worthy of sharing with you guys in case someone else ran across a similar issue. It has to do with the, uh, with the return system on the piezo electronic injectors used in the 11 through 16 LML Duramaxes. Um, so let me just give you the quick heads up of what we did. So the LML Duramaxes have return line right here with a little regulator on it. Uh, this regulator feeds off of these lines, goes to each one of the injectors and the ninth injector from the CP4 to the uh, injector um, solenoid over here on the passenger side valve cover. It runs um, these four injectors here, these four injectors here, coming together to this regulator in the center and then comes out with a return line back here uh, bridging off to a T inside of the return line uh, back to the tank. Uh, this line over here at the actual return line to the tank doesn't have any pressure to it. The pressure is held inside of the return lines coming from the injectors. Um, if the injectors don't have a steady 43 PSI plus to them, uh, they cannot close because the piezoelectronic injector needs that pressure on the back side of the uh, of the needle to allow them to seat and continue to open back up and fire. So what occurs is the truck will build rail pressure but will not start. Uh, we ran into this issue with this particular vehicle um, and never had encountered such before until we uh, you know, figured it out with this one that it just wasn't um, holding the pressure back. So we suspect there's a possibility that this little regulator could be going bad. Um, but nonetheless, once we applied pressure, to the line back here, there's a little hose connected to this here. We took it off, we applied some shop air to it, and it fired up immediately. Um, but again, it was able to build rail pressure. There was no other codes, no other issues. There was no, um, no ECM sync problems, anything like that. It was strictly because the return line did not have pressure in it of any kind. Um, I'll show you what the return lines look like so you have a better understanding of that system. It's very simple. So this is the return line system. Uh, this is bank two over here. It has the ninth injector port to it. Uh, this is bank one over here. It has the, uh, the, the four fittings for them and the four fittings over here. This line right here, this is the one that we applied the shop pressure to. That's the outlet side of the back of this, uh, this little regulator here. Uh, this is not electronic. It's strictly mechanical. So like anything else, it has a, a point where it will, will and can fail. Um, but all we did was simply apply a little bit of shop air pressure to this hose right here. It built up pressure inside of here, allowing those injectors to close, and the truck fired right up. Very simple. Um, hopefully that can help somebody out with a similar issue, but um, that's all we got to show. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.